I think it's very interesting because uh, a lot of sharing some actually different perspective and also for they're coming from different industry. Yeah, so I think uh, it's pretty insightful as well uh, what other people are doing. One is we could see there's a proactive uh, desire from ICPAS as an association trying to gather feedbacks from the business community. Uh, in terms of composition of the members here, you could see there's a diversity of view. Uh, folks from a uh, non-profit association uh, and, and then there are some which are from arts others uh, and there's also a fair share of uh, female com male compositions uh, and, and also it's testimonial from the discussion topic itself that uh, some of them were raising from foreign workers levy issues down to uh, taxes, down to uh, industrial land in intensification usage and down to even association point of view so I think th that part we've shown the uh, diversity of the composition well, uh, first of all, I think the participants have been uh, very insightful and they, they basically gave their feedback. And this will be very useful because it is through the actual examples of the various participants from the entrepreneur, the small businessman, and the larger MNCs and uh, professional like ourselves uh, uh, that they obtain solid examples and we can then formulate better policies and hopefully the, the debate and in Parliament will be a, a, a lot more robust. Well, I thought it was uh, very useful and insightful and it was very good that the government was actually picking, taking the time to get feedback from the various sectors and the various industries because there's always a, a what you intend to do in policy sometimes really the, when you flow down it doesn't quite um, end up the same way you, you intended it to be. What I really hope to see is actually on the green space that we are talking about because today government is only uh, looking at hybrid cars and all that but I think we have a lot to do in that area especially a lot of SNE actually needed a lot of resources and uh, maybe more grant because today all the tax is actually come in a tax relief uh, form so it may not benefit the actually there's a lot of SME that may not be able to tap into that kind of resources yeah but moving forward it is actually very important for them to actually move into that uh, green space yeah well I, I guess uh, every one of us are quite focused about solving certain issues and uh, there have been a lot of recommendations that's been put forward um, I guess perhaps there was a moment that actually uh, the chair commented about the uh, philosophical issues about local uh, grads, graduates vis-a-vis -vis, uh, foreign talents. Um, probably that is quite a soul-searching question that we need to ask ourselves. Because after all, this, uh, the, the graduates and the workforce are actually the, the pillar of our next generation of uh, engine of growth. And uh, if, they, if these generations are not uh, in some way educated or inculcated in the right way, I think we will have lost out in terms of our desire to succeed, our competitiveness compared to the rest of the other economy. I mean, uh, case in point, a lot of them were talking about uh, the competitiveness of uh, the Chinese nationalities and the Indian nationalities as well. I think that, that, that's good that we have uh, them as part of our uh, intric intricate workforce by itself. Uh, the other part is also, I think, we're Singapore-based uh, workers as itself, we should also look towards how we can be more productive and, uh, and how to match up to all this competitive workforce as well. Uh, again, uh, it's, it's, it's in fact the, 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 the examples that were given, they were, they were very refreshing and I, I, I like to hear from others and you can really see how some of these policies impact some of the business specifically and uh, they have been uh, very forthcoming. That's the highlight for me. The talk on all the productivity was uh, very useful because it's all the different aspects to which um, how you want to approach productivity um, from an uh, employer's, uh, employer's point of view or whether it's from an employee's point of view, it's important that we um, come together and have the exact understanding uh, and framework how we want to go forth and go forward. Yeah. Well, I think the government is already focusing on the right teams, uh, productivity and uh, increasing competitiveness and being inclusive. I think the... Uh, one of the key uh, highlights of today's discussion, at least in my opinion, was that you know everybody was concerned about how we actually improve uh, the the nation's competitiveness, and I think that was good. I, I think that's good. Uh, that the point was raised and discussed quite well. I think the government probably was intending to move that that policy down the right path, but I think the focus was about how we should pace that so that we don't actually end up actually fracturing some of the industries that require that input of foreign workers, particularly the healthcare area. I think in, in the real estate sector where I represent, uh, we were particularly concerned about the uh, change in the IBA rules. 
uh, phasing it out, and that that was something that was quite dramatic because I, as I said in the meeting, uh, the a lot of the countries in this region actually use IBA as a key tool to help drive competitiveness of the uh, companies that they operate in those countries. And in, in particular for us, I think where R&D sector is in concern, we should, be, we should be having the IBA help actually improve our ability to attract those uh, multinational companies and not increase the cost of doing business down here. Yes, I would like to see that continue, and if, if, if it's possible, even enhance actually to some extent. Uh, the, the land intensification allowance probably uh, is, is a different form and I think some of the participants actually alluded to the fact that maybe we should be more inclusive uh, and not restrict it to the nine sectors or seven sectors that they, they raised. Well, we, we're in the real estate business, so we've always focused on uh, intensification of use of land. Uh, I think the more important thing for us, and I think sometimes when the government starts shifting the sector of focus, uh, it will leave behind some of the previously important sectors uh, or even sometimes miss out some of the sectors. We, for example, are focusing on trying to build a media hub, for example. And I think that's something that, you know, uh, I don't think is covered under the current uh, scheme.